What is going on everybody? In this video I want to go over the top 5 offensive formations that I think were underrated throughout the year in Madden 17. Before we even get to it, I want to know what you guys think an underrated formation was so feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'd love to hear you guys opinions. So onto the video number five I think a weak twin tight end so I form weak twin tight end it was a very underrated formation this year it was in four playbooks the Chargers Cardinals Titans and Buccaneers but the variation I think was the best was out of the San Diego Chargers playbook now the reason why is because it contained this fullback dive play right here on the X button call out. That was a great play. Super quick hitting. You could put a running back there at fullback or a juiced tight end in mutt and get really good consistent yardage. And it's definitely a play your opponent had to respect. It came with other plays as well. Good complementary plays. A good auto motion scheme out of this formation right here you have the halfback dive the counter weak the halfback power o and the strong stretch all that shared the same auto motion and all look the same pre-snap now coming out in the fullback dive i think is your best bet for this formation now a tip you want to run the fullback dive to the side of your quarterback's dominant hand so if you have a right hand quarterback you want your fullback on the right side and vice versa if he is a left hander like michael vick uh, the reason being the handoff is going to be just a little bit quicker it's hard to notice but it is noticeable if you do run the play and go for it uh, right there you're seeing the defensive tackle I think that's Kawan Short getting some nice block sheds uh, but this is definitely a great play right there squeeze up through the A gap and you can get nice quick consistent yardage it's going to force your opponent to have to pinch his D line and then you can start expanding into other plays now the run audibles are kind of lacking halfback gut and inside zone not the best but like I said you do have the auto motion scheme as well as some decent passing plays right here you have PA boot slide as a pass audible that gives you a deep corner and a backside deep skinny post you also have another pass play out of that formation called tight end drag that can be good right here uh, for setting up a bench type of concept on that left side right there so you can put Myers on an out route or a flat and get that flat route corner out concept right there Court, uh, the defense went up with an all-out blitz easy completion to the corner out so you can get creative with the passing options but I think uh, that that is a good underrated formation now number four coming in it's gonna be shotgun flanker close now this formation is only found in the run and shoot playbook which is not a very popular playbook generic playbook um, obviously in mutt gonna cost you a little more so not many people really flock to those types of books but uh, this formation I think it was a hidden gem this year the reason being it was half compressed half spread so the right side of the field was compressed the left side was spread but if you notice run and shoot switch curl you get a deep post on the right side Z spot looking post while run and shoot switch dig you get a deep post on the left side so you have deep Z spot posts coming from both sides of the field uh, the formation I would recommend coming out in bench and then so you have bench obviously to your right side and to your left side that you can run very simple route concept and then you have your audibles you can go to run and shoot switch dig so you have the deep post on the left side or you can go to PA drag where you can get a nice little bench concept on the right with some crossing routes on the left so right there once again you go flat route corner route combo and go ahead and read the cornerback and see where he draws back to if you want to throw a deep dig or a deep post rather something you can go with is maybe streak Adam Humphreys try and clear out some space right here once again it's gonna be man-to-man -man coverage so you can go ahead and hit that deep dig over the middle uh, but you can try and stretch the defense vertically uh, very well out of this formation your opponent has to respect deep posts on both sides of the field as well as those compression set route combos such as the bench so I think that formation has a lot of potential now number three it's gonna be single back tight flex week now this formation only found out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook it is the only playbook in the game that has this formation and what you're gonna to wanna to do is come out in halfback zone week now the reason being the run audible out of this formation is the HB draw which I'm not a huge fan of under center draws this year I think they develop a little bit too slowly but maybe 
You can get them to work for you depending on your opponent's style of defense, but I think that the halfback zone weak is going to be your best bet as a running play out of this formation, although it's not fantastic. It is better than the draw, in my opinion. Now, the only passing plays I think you need out of this formation happen to be quick audibles. You have shakes, which is fantastic, as well as PA double cross. Now, PA double cross you might recognize from other formations such as single back tight flex out of the Green Bay Packers playbook or single back tight doubles. So this is a good play. You have the deep corner routes on both sides of this field as well as the underneath crossing routes. But shakes is really the play that makes this formation run. You have five really great routes. You have a C route, a table route, a post route, a corner route, and a drag route. All that work very well. And you can maneuver this play however you want it. You can run it stock. You can street Cameron Brait and put Adam Humphreys on a flat route or an out route to create a bench concept on the left side. Uh, you can really, really experiment and run this so many different ways. It's a very, very versatile play that your opponent's definitely going to have trouble stopping as long as you stay multiple with the setups. It's a play I think you can definitely build a complete scheme out of. So definitely a formation that I think is underrated, and it's really mainly this play that is underrated. This play was popular in years past, uh, but... Uh, this year wasn't really seen that much, but I think it's definitely something that you could have success running with, especially since not a lot of people saw it and not a lot of people would know how to defend it. So single back tight flex week out of the Minnesota Vikings playbook right there. Number two, uh, the number two underrated formation, I think, was single back bunch ace. Now, this formation is probably the deepest of all of uh, the ones that I have listed in my top five. So I'm going to try and make it a little quick. But basically, what you want to run out of this formation is PA Fork Shot and Z Spot. Now, PA Fork Shot is a play action audible, so come out in Z Spot. There's multiple setups for this. Um, something that I like to do is put Vincent Jackson on a flat route, sh put Cameron Break on a slant, and then motion Break over to the left side. And then you can snap him and get a nice delayed slant on that left side. So you basically have uh, the flat route corner route combo on the right. And then you have a delayed slant along with a deep post coming over on the left. Creates a nice little levels concept right there. You see the deep post clears out the space for the underneath slant to Cameron Brait. Another option, like I was talking about, PA Fork Shot. This is a play you can get very creative with. You can drag Cameron Brait. You can put him on an out route. Another thing you can do is you can slant him, motion him out. So you can motion him out and get the same delayed slant effect coming back underneath. So very, very versatile with that tight end. Uh, the way he can motion both to the left and to the right to get those delayed routes So definitely something that you should mix into a scheme if you do build one out of single back bunch ace But definitely a very versatile formation that you can go so deep into And right there. I was just kind of scratching the surface So definitely worth taking a look also a formation that's in a lot of different playbooks So odds are the playbook you run has that formation now the final one is going to be pistol tight slots now only in the pistol formation and what you're going to want to do is come out in bench. So come out in bench, and I actually clicked the wrong play. I came out in mesh. So I'm going to, you're going to come out in bench, and basically all the plays that you're going to want are at your disposal at the line of scrimmage. So come out bench, and you're going to see that you have the deep corner routes on this play. So deep corner routes, very, very good at attacking zone coverages, especially cover twos, which are very popular this year with nickel blitz and DB fire two press. So that's a great base play to have. Now, if you want to run normal bench with normal corner routes, you have the deep audible bench switch. And then you have at play action audible, the best play in the formation, in my opinion, which is PA post shot. Now, you're going to notice this play very similar to that gun tight flex PA post shot, which I think has the best route in the game, which is that Y route, that deep crossing route which does a fantastic job of getting open against a lot of different zone coverages right there. Went to the out route against man-to-man -man coverage. But um, as you're going to see right here, if I can get the time in the pocket, that Y route does a great job crossing over the field, and eventually he's going to get open against almost every single zone coverage, guys. Definitely a super tough route to defend, a route your opponent's definitely going to have to make a lot of adjustments to account for, and something you can build a scheme out of. So remember this formation only in uh, the pistol playbook, but definitely a hidden gem in my opinion. And I look forward to it hopefully coming back next year. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said at the beginning, definitely leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think was a super underrated formation this past year in Madden 17. Until next time, guys, take it easy.